Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vanessa and I am so happy to have you here. I finally have my Christmas decorate with me video up for you guys. I know it's taken me a little while to get it up, but it is finally here. This video did take me a few days to film. That is why you will notice all the outfit changes and changes in lighting. And Brian also loves to help with the Christmas decorating, so we like to do that while he's home as well. First off, I just wanted to start off in my entryway. Very, very basic, super minimal, and I went with neutral tones this year. I tried to do like a rustic chic. Hopefully I pulled it off. I really like how everything turned out and super minimal, so it was great. Next off, I moved on to Elena's Playroom. This Christmas tree we have had for years since before we moved into this house and it's the tree that we had in our living room last year. But this year I decided to put it in Elena's Playroom and I had some ornaments saved from years and years ago that I thought would be perfect for Elena's Playroom because they're such fun colors with the pinks and the greens. So. I put that in her playroom and then also added all of our Hallmark Christmas ornaments like the Disney princesses and superheroes that Brian and I have collected over the years and I thought that that would be fun to put in Elena's room. And if any of you are curious to see a decorated Christmas home tour, please let me know in the comments below. I have made some changes and a few adjustments here and there within the last few days. Or if you would like to see some shots of everything at night with everything lit up, please let me know and I'd be so happy to do that for you. And these two are super cute, putting up the star together on the tree. Oh my heck, I just love it. The following day, I moved on to my living room and getting the mantle all set up. I think that this is one of my favorite parts of the home to decorate because I feel between the mantle and the Christmas tree, it just makes the house so warm and inviting for the holidays. And putting up this garland is just so easy and I love that it's just plain green. It is already pre-lit. Brian and I bought this, I think it lows a couple years ago but I am able to change it up every year with like different ornaments and things like that and I just put little hooks on my ornaments just so that they stay on there better and then I can run them all the way down as far as the garland goes so this has been such a great buy and it is so easy to change up every year if you want to the beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you. For my kitchen, I decided to bring in some pops of red, 
whites, greens, a little bit more traditional in there just because I really do love those traditional colors and I still wanted to have a little bit of that in my house so I thought it would be great in the kitchen. I have really loved having this little cake stand next to the sink and it's so easy to change up for the holidays and seasons. And as you can see, I couldn't decide which look I liked better. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite look is with the candle. When I started decorating in my kitchen, I realized that I had no idea what I was going to do as centerpieces for my kitchen island and my dining table. So I took to the Dollar Tree and I found some ornaments that went really well with the color scheme that I chose for this year and I just decided to make it super easy and put it in these large vases that I already have. This is such an easy thing to do and it's so inexpensive. Although you do need the wider vases so that they look a little bit nicer and not just stacked up on top of each other. When I bought these picks at the dollar store, I really had no idea how I was going to use them. But as I started putting my centerpiece together, I figured that it might add just a little touch of glam if I just popped it up in the top. Somebody new. Still Next, I started making the centerpiece for my kitchen island. I used the vase that came with the flowers that Brian got me a couple weeks ago from our anniversary. And then I went to the dollar store and while I was there, I saw that they had little mini pine cones and different picks with greeneries and some berries. So I picked up a few of those because I remembered that I had these gold placemats and so I wanted to incorporate the gold and the red starting into my kitchen since you go from gold to red in there so I thought it would be a really nice way to bring the two colors together and it was so easy to do I just picked up that styrofoam at the dollar store as well and had Bryant cut it up for me so that it would fit nice and snug in the vase and that made it super easy for me to put in my picks how I wanted them and I just filled it up with some of the extra holly berry that I had and some mini pine cones.
today we decorated our bedroom i have not put a christmas tree up in there yet but i am still debating on it i do have one more christmas tree it's actually another seven footer and i have not decided if i want to put that in my room or not because if i do put it up it is a lot more to take down once the season is over but I am really tempted to because I just love everything about Christmas and going all out for it. Bryant started helping out by removing all the dirty sheets off the bed and then bringing out fresh new sheets for the bed. And we made it first so that we'd have a nice clean bed to sleep in and then added all of my little pops of red that I chose to go with for our bedroom. Come on now, let's go caroling through the snow all day. Mm, we've been good, but we can last. Hurry, Christmas, hurry now. I can't wait to see what's under the Christmas tree. Buying new sheets and comforters and all of those things for your bed can get to be really expensive, especially because we have a king size bed. Everything is just so much more expensive. So I like to change things up just by adding a throw blanket and some pillows and it really makes a big difference. And if you haven't gone to see at Ross, Ross has some super inexpensive throw pillows because I know that those can be pretty expensive as well. But I found all three of those pillows at Ross this year for only $25. So it's a really good place to go on the hunt for throw pillows if you are looking for some really inexpensive ones. And it's such a nice way just to change up the space. And then I just added a throw blanket that I have had already within the last few years. I know the Santa Claus is coming. Santa is coming. I know, I know. Santa is coming. Oh. room I remove her lamp that we have up all year round and I set up her mini Christmas tree this I purchased last year at Hobby Lobby I believe it was only five dollars it doesn't come pre-lit or anything like that but it's a super cute tinsel tree and I just add some lights and then all the decorations are also from Hobby Lobby as well they have such a cute selection of all the little mini things and then I just added a couple of other pieces just to make her room a little bit more of that cozy Christmas feel. Who has it all? I've been to every corner of 
of this godforsaken morn What in the world would be that something that made you see that I love you All I've got to give for Christmas is chose to decorate was my Christmas tree. The tree skirt I have had for many, many, many years. I think maybe it was part of our very first Christmas tree with Brian and I together. And I pulled that out because I thought it would look really cute with the theme I had picked out this year. And then I started decorating. I really have no rhyme or reason in the way that I decorate. We did start off with the bigger ornaments first and then moved on to the smaller ones. And I do like to put in my picks and my ribbon last because I like to see once the tree is filled with all the ornaments, I like to pick out all of the empty spaces and fill them in with the ribbon and picks. Wow. Christmas. Christmas. Mommy did a good job. Yeah. Mommy did a good And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I super appreciate your patience with me on this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. And again, remember if you would like to see a whole home house tour for Christmas, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to show you the changes I have made and the little adjustments that I have done here and there. So let me know if you would like to see that in a different video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.